Okay, you know what time it is. Time for my political life video blog. Now, here's my observation for you because last week on my radio show on the Blaze Radio Network, and so was my uh, last last Saturday show on Saturday night show on on Fox, because we were discussing yes, keeping this huge up close and personal love. You guess the jet, Jesse Smollett. Yeah, you you know the guy from a uh, hit television show on Fox called Empire. And give me one good reason why. Because everybody knows has been attacking by these two uh, su uh, su two suspects. And trying to put a, a rope over <laughs> on, on his, on a, uh, on uh, Mr. Smollett's neck. I have no objection whatsoever, so who knows. But guess what? And uh, I have no clue whatsoever. Now, here's here's uh, let's. But, but but before we get inside this political uh, political democratic idiot idiots, was to keep it up close and personal of Jesse Smollett. Here's here's my here's here's my uh, observation for you. You already know about this, and you know why. Uh, and and um. And this is not, <laughs> not keeping away because, um, so this is what happens. And you know why? So this is, this is, this is, that probably don't make sense at, all, sense at all. So about the media, the, the media outlets has, has been said that the actor was being in Chicago by attackers were yelling, this is MAGA country. Uh, oh, really? Really? Because there has so much media outlets just ran with a huge story according to TMZ, and I have no objection whatsoever, so I have no clue uh, what, whatsoever about, but the cops aren't saying one word. So, who knows, keep it civilized. And, and then, here's the observation for you that you don't want to know about Jesse Smollett's attack news in a double in double a c p c p about um over just over forty minutes ago. So, well, guess what? Listen to this from CBS News this morning, and uh, it's, and you know that you really is. Listen to this. <laughs> is best known for the TV drama Empire. He claims he was attacked on a Chicago street by two men who wrapped a rope around his neck. Dean Reynolds has spoken with officers searching for evidence to back up Smollett's allegations. Dean, good morning. Oh, God, come on. Because everybody knows knows about this one, so, um... The... the good morning. Smollett plays Jamal. Observation. Uh, observation, you know why? Everybody knows that, uh, <laughs> you know, and um, uh, I'm going to tell you this is going to be outrageous. Now, here's another one, uh, you know, last January, last month, because the cops has, re has been released a huge photos of the potential person of interest, and but, but still no video uh, attempt to do this, well, well, guess what? Guess what? According to ABC News, listen to ABC News. I have I have no objection whatsoever. Just listen to this. Well, I give you attention about this one because everything about yeah, the media and all that stuff, and I have no clue whatsoever. Listen to this according to ABC News. Jesse Smollett is best known for his breakout role in the hit show Empire. And tonight, a potential break in the case of an alleged hate crime against him. Police releasing these images of two potential persons of interest, asking the public for help in identifying them. They responded on surveillance camera on the same street where Smollett says he was attacked because of his race and sexuality. Now, doesn't make sense to you? And every, everything else gives size, that's uh, according to ABC News Nightline. You want more? I give you more. This is 
it's gotta be the uh, another investigation of Jesse Smollett because because the Chicago superintendent says Jesse Smollett will, will be charged if they if they have a suspect of false report. I have no clue whatsoever. Uh, I have no no clue whatsoever. So be it. Listen to this from CBS this morning. Senior actor Jesse Smollett thanked fans for their support in his first public appearance and he said he was attacked. Our partners at Entertainment Tonight captured this video of Smollett at a Los Angeles performance over the weekend. Police are investigating last Tuesday's incident in Chicago as a possible hate crime. Dean Reynolds shows us the... Uh, you might think it's so smart that you will you stand, I will only stand for love. What? Uh, you wish. Here's my observation for you. What if Jesse Smollett has a huge message for those who says that his attack, attack claim is a hoax? It's a hoax. Oh, exclusive interview with this from ABC News, or ABC's World News Tonight. And, um, uh, just... And the attack he says he endured in Chicago. This it is. Led in his first interview with our Robin Roberts, answering questions about that alleged hate crime, the attack he says he endured in Chicago. And tonight, Smollett talks for the first time about that surveillance image put out by Chicago police. With uh, stop right there. Stop. Stop. Listen to this from, you guessed it, Robin Roberts from Good Morning Morning America, interviewing, you guessed it, Jesse Smollett. And here's why. The attack. The police have gone through a lot of video, and they were able to capture an image of two people of interest. Have you seen that image, and... Do you believe that they could possibly be the attacker? I do. What is it about their their size, or what? Why do you feel that they could possibly be? Because I I was there. I mean, that for me when that was released, I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's the never did it. the star but but the only thing that happens is it's a hoax so here's the observation he doesn't have any doubt in, in his mind try to figure this surveillance image are my, my attackers because because every everyone believes uh, everyone believes that he believes the potential person of interest inside uh, Chicago. And, um, and <laughs> I don't believe that Robert, uh, Rob, oh, uh, well, I don't know why Robin Rob Roberts report this. It really does. Now, what about, what about the person? Chicago police identifies the persons of interest for huge problems that Jesse Smollett has to claim this. And uh, I don't know. This is from USA Today and listen to this. Uh, listen to this because this is what ha happens. He's holding back. That's why he has exclusive interview of this incident. Or maybe you just no no clue whatsoever. So tell the truth. Listen, if I tell the truth, then first it was a thing of like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. And the truth is you don't know. You don't know. You don't know what the two attackers are against it. And the, and and the news, according to Blaze.com, just keeps on go goes on and on and on and on and on, but on and on, until uh, you know I have no clue what, clue whatsoever. But there's more. I have no clue. now. But there's more because I have everybody knows that Justice Smollett has been sus suspects that re it released. Uh, uh, taking a dramatic new twist after the police has been arrested for two persons in Nigeria 
<laughs> and I. <laughs> but there, well, what about their new critical evidence, as far as we're concerned? For this twist and turning thing? Well, guess what? Guess what? The law. You know, listen to this. Last weekend, over, you know, as, as I said on my radio show last week on the Blaze Radio Network, and so as you guess it, my television show on Fox, because everybody knows has a, has a mixed up mind of Smollett's own. You know why Mr. Smollett tried to pay them for to orchestrate the attack of this one? And what other details according to page six? Uh, it has a huge details and it, it says that um yeah yes at the moment I am uh, at the middle of it because in some way these uh, two suspects from Nigeria and um uh, and at least who has been released so what's the new evidence has no clue whatsever well you know everything else can still like to TMZ comes to mind well guess what guess what the democrats knew this cory booker news is oh you call him yeah no 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 spartacus what about nancy stretch pelosi believes in small shut up and he uh, and uh, listen this from uh, you guessed it kamala harris yes kamala harris has a huge interview and listen to this um incident I have no clue whatsoever that everybody doesn't believe it. And now, and now, and when it comes down to this, this is a, uh, uh, well, <laughs> this is it's because Democrats are pff, priceless. They're priceless. And why? Because I don't believe. I believe they're uh, thick of it all. Because uh, the whole, whole system has no clue whatsoever. So, uh, this is so dumb. This is so, so dumb about you know who. Listen to this from uh, her Twitter account. And I, I, I have no objection whatsoever. And um, for, from my perspective, because the little thing you know about, you guessed it, the Democrats believe in Smollett. You're crazy. You must be out of your darn mind. Now, now, everything else can be civilized about this one. Because we, 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 we don't believe you. That's what the that's what the song says. We don't believe you. You, Jesse Smollett, you just tell it full of lies, do you? Because everything else can be civilized. In the whole subject about this one. And um. And you know, this is gonna be. Dumb. And I, and I have no objections. Objections for everything else. So, stop this whole nonsense of yours. And I don't like it at all. And I don't believe it. And you're so wrong. The whole subject is, yeah, just, it really bugs me. Anyways, the moral of my political life video blog story. Just remember the moral of the story is, just remember the moral of this whole scenario of the song of this parody that I just made this thing up. You! Need a reality check, Jesse Smollett. You need to identify these two two people. Tries to attack you. And then everybody believes it. If you if they because 
But if you don't tell the darn truth, we don't believe you. And now you know why, because please be nice to people. Because everything else is civilized. Wake the hell up. They're just, just like I said. If you don't want to hear a word I just said. And bad guy story. And um. Uh, here's my observation for you. Over the weekend on my radio show. So here's my observation for you. And uh. And here's what it says. <laughs> Um, don't say I told you so, Smollett. You will come clean. Anyone else get civilized? As for you Democrats, mind your own business and shut the hell up. For now, the world would never know, according to this Tootsie Roll Pop commercial back in the 70s. Anyways, we keep you, uh, don't worry, we keep this story up on, right here on, on, on the Blaze.com website and so is my radio show on the Blaze Radio Network. A uh, uh, few more days or whatever it is. Until it's over with. Anyways, that's my political life video blog story and I'm sticking to it.